Hey guys, this is Peter Formal, and you're watching my phone diary. I've watched Fast and Furious 7, the latest installment of the of Vin Diesel and Paul Walker's franchise. I have to say I enjoyed the film a lot. Not as good as Fast 5 or Fast and Furious 6, but it's still a very good film. Probably on par or a little bit better than Fast and Furious 4. The film does have its problems, can be overlooked in certain instances. Others just took me out of the film completely. It is still a must-see film. The problems I did have with the film was the camera work of uh, first of all. It had these great slow-mo, great pan scenes over fighting scenes, over racing scenes and other instances it had this whole jarry, shaky feel to the fighting scenes or the racing scenes which just didn't make sense if you have this great panning shot. Now I don't know if they did that to, for Paul, Paul Walker's fighting scenes where his brother may, may have t taken his place or not but it just felt uneven with the film. The storyline also seemed very con uh, convoluted. It had too much going on, too much things to do. The main protagonist wasn't present enough for some reason that you didn't use Jason Statham as they should have, uh, but I'll get on that later. It felt like they just went from location to location to location. Uh, it started out where Vin Diesel got his family set, he had his life he wants, everything's going well. See, he's got all the chubby, a little bit of fat around the cheeks. I don't know if that was intentional, but it did add to it. But it shows Paul Walker getting into his family life with the little minivan, driving around around his kid, looking after his wife, the, everybody settling into their lives. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has a very good fighting scene in the beginning with Jason Statham. Probably one of the best I've seen this year so far. It's right there with James Wan, see the director getting into his stride. Uh, uh, pulling out all the stocks for the great fight scene between those two and I really like that. Unfortunately during the rest of the film it felt like it got lazy, nothing happened. Although I do understand the circumstances that was around the film. Dwayne The Rock Johnson this film wasn't adequately used according to me. He has a great scene in the beginning where he played a bit of a hero. Uh, but then he got in, then he was disposed of, well not killed but indisposed in the form where he couldn't be in the role and they replaced him with Kurt Russell. Now nothing against Kurt Russell but that role could have been fulfilled by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I don't see why they had to out of most of the form to fill him with this character. It seemed lazy, it seemed they just wanted to fill the film with more characters. It just made the film too busy. If they took him out and put Dwayne The Rock Johnson in there it would have been a bit better, a bit more. James Wan Directing style I quite enjoyed with his previous films, but with this it was inconsistent. It didn't match the entire film. There were great shots, as you can see in the trailer, of jumping from building to building, fights in the camera, twists with, with the body, slow-mo shots, absolutely fantastic. But then you get to fighting scenes where the camera shakes uncontrollably and you don't really see what's going on because it's uh, bad lighting because they're in a building with middle of the night with street, street lights coming in. So you want clear slow shots of the fighting scene, not the whole thing shaking. You can't make out what's going on. Give me a bit out. Any film with a good budget don't need scenes like that. Then, you, then we come to Jason Statham which I believe they underused him completely. They showed him in like four or five scenes and he was just there to kick ass. Yes, he has two great at the beginning where he has where he comes and talks to his brother. If you haven't watched the end of the sixth installment of the film, you won't know what I'm talking about, but he has this absolutely badass, completely unnecessary, but absolutely badass in the beginning of the film where they introduce him, which tells you exactly who he is. And then his fight with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, with Agent Hobbs. But further, they don't use him. It's like they got this great idea and never worked it through. In the sixth form, they used the character, the main protagonist, much better. Very well. Very good story here. Not at all. I felt like they could have used him quite well and they didn't. That's one of the disappointments. Then, Paul Walker's contribution to this film. At the end of the film, they have a very well laid out, very symbolic dedication to him uh, on the form, which doesn't fit in the form, but you understand exactly why it is in the form, 
and they make it clear as a friend and as a family member. Or it also puts through the whole thing in the form where Toretto, played by Vin Diesel, talks about family. And the whole symbolism behind saying goodbye of Paul Walker is handled better than almost any other movie I can think of. Probably better than Heath Ledger's tribute in his last film. That just made the film ten times better than what it could have could have been and I would recommend anybody to go see this in cinema it is a great movie even with uh, the taking away of the disappointment it's still a great film and a must see I highly recommend it okay guys thanks for watching please comment down below tell me how I can improve my channel